Um, the book jacket for P.G. Woodhouse was one of the nicest commissions I've ever uh, received. Um, a friend of mine asked me to recommend uh, the best um, illustrator, a suitable illustrator, uh, to do um, the whole of P.G. Woodhouse. So I recommended myself. It was an opportunity of doing something very different to the kind of stuff I was doing at the time, which was more dark and surreal. Um, I used um, collage, uh, photographically based imagery. Where, whereas here, um, I could do something very different, um, something more playful, more colorful, more uh, amusing and humorous. So when um, uh, John Phillips, um, uh, who runs the London uh, print studio, um, asked me whether I'd be interested in doing an exhibition based on the uh, uh, covers of uh, P.G. Woodhouse, uh, the artworks. Um, I was very excited, but I didn't really have a concept, but he did. He had a really good idea um, of, rather than uh, just framing artwork and putting it up on the wall, um, why don't we be more playful in the spirit of P.G. Woodhouse and, and, and create an installation? And we decided together that it should be quite artificial, um, a make-believe um, set. So we made a, a kind of baronial hall out of cardboard. Um, uh, for this, we um, uh, employed, um, we commissioned uh, one of my ex-students, um, Cisato, who was already doing quite a lot of work with the print studio here. Uh, Cisato is from Japan and she has a, a, a wonderful talent for making three-dimensional objects out of paper or card. And uh, I sent her, uh, emailed her some drawings very rough drawings of frames and, and um, props. Um, uh, uh, fr and uh, based on these, she, she created these um, amusing and uh, playful uh, uh, frames and sculptures and objects. To accompany the show, we, um, we decided to do a series of prints. Um, Together with John and uh, Darren uh, van der Meer, who's uh, a wonderful um, technician and artist working here, um, we focused on two images which we thought would be the most attractive and eye-catching. Um, uh, and we put them into, we made them into screen prints, um, uh, multicolored screen prints. Um, which I thought worked really well. Um, whilst uh, some of the other covers uh, we printed digitally um, so that they could go in the frames that Chisato uh, specially made and designed. Uh, alongside these I showed a few original works and also the original black and white lino cuts. Once I um, uh, read some of the P.G. Woodhouses, I decided, and I was already, I was already at that time working with uh, lino cut, and I thought um, uh, that I could uh, take these lino cuts stage further by uh, photocopying the black and white prints onto color paper, different varieties of colors, um, and then um, uh, collage them together uh, into, into into the final images, adding um, certain backgrounds and elements by um, hand painted um, uh, gouache and watercolor. So it's a kind of a poor man's screen print, really, <laughs> which I could control myself in the studio.